Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a charcoal drawing of a shark. It's going to be a great white shark. So let's have a look. First I'm going to do a sketch with graphite pencils and then I'm going to switch to charcoal. I'm going to use Master Touch woodless charcoal pencils, a medium and a soft grade. I'm also going to use a piece of willow charcoal, some charcoal powder and some blending and erasing tools. The paper I'm going to be working on is a 220 GSM smooth drawing paper. And uh, once I finish the sketch, like I said, I'm going to switch to charcoal. First I'm going to do a little bit of the background. So I started shading the background uh, with with a piece of willow charcoal with a willow charcoal stick and the good thing about willow charcoal is that it can be easily manipulated you can easily move it around but here I started working around the outline of the shark because I wanted to establish an edge there an edge to value if you will because the light source is coming from above the top part of the shark's body is going to be considerably lighter than the bottom. So I need to have a contrast there. After that I've put in a few details using my charcoal pencil, a few darker details, uh, just so that I wouldn't lose some parts of my sketch uh, once I start blending. After that I used one of the soft brushes and started blending that willow charcoal, blending the background and it was going pretty well but at one point I wasn't really happy with the amount of value so I decided to mix it up with with some charcoal powder and I create this charcoal powder by sharpening my pencils but I found that with charcoal powder I was able to get somewhat uh, darker I was able to control the amount of value about a bit better and I was also able to blend a bit more smoothly because I wanted to avoid having too much texture in the background. After that I used a pencil eraser to clean up the edge, the top edge of the shark's body because I want to have a clean edge between my main subject and the background. And like I said I used a pencil eraser for that, that's a Kohinoor pencil eraser. In addition to that, I will also be using a kneaded eraser. I usually use a Faber-Castell or a Kohino kneaded eraser. So this, top, uh, this uh, nose area is fairly dark. And uh, th uh, th when you look at the shark's body, it seems that the top part of the body is darker than the belly. The belly is a, a lighter color, almost white, as far as I can see. But the problem here is that because of the light source, the top part of the body, which is catching more light, which is facing towards the light source, is going to have to be lighter uh, than, the, than the bottom. But we are going to have a transition here between that um, top part of the body which is uh, darker, which is kind of dark grey, and the uh, lower part of the body which is lighter. Using a bit more charcoal powder on the background here, making this part of the background just a little bit darker than the top. Uh, I'm going to be combining that with, uh, with willow charcoal and doing a substantial amount of blending before I get it to look smooth. And also I might, I'm also trying to preserve my edges. I have to make sure that I always have a clean edge to my main subject so that, so that the main subject would stand out against the background. And sometimes you can break that rule and soften the edge a little bit or make it a little bit less, less clean, less noticeable, but I'm going to get to that a bit later. Right now I'm shading that tip of the nose, or at least the bottom part of it, which is a bit darker. 
and adding a bit more value on this lower part of that nose area which is like I said facing away from the light source. I used a soft charcoal pencil for the eye and the nostril and a little bit on the tip of the nose. So for some of the darkest areas, by the way this pencil that I'm using now is a medium charcoal pencil. And I'm going to be using that medium charcoal pencil for most of the drawing process. But here and there I also used the soft charcoal pencil. And like I said these are master touch woodless charcoal pencils um, I also use Kohino charcoal pencils sometimes. I don't really care too much about the brands, but I generally like using charcoal pencils because they're more convenient and uh, because charcoal, charcoal is very good at drawing darker areas very quickly. So I did a number of drawings in graphite recently. I used those new Faber-Castell matte graphite pencils and those I was pretty uh, pretty satisfied with the way they performed but I I just wanted to do uh, drawing in charcoal because I haven't done that in a while some drawings obviously uh, lend themselves a little bit better to working in charcoal others in graphite but it's up to you to decide uh, which technique you want to choose. I'm using a bit more of this soft charcoal pencil here for the mouth, for the darker areas in between the teeth. And sharks have very scary looking teeth in, uh, that, that grow in, in rows as far as I can see. And uh, if they lose them they can easily re replace them. I'm not an expert on uh, on sharks and biology. I'm just telling you what I see and uh, what I know. So I put in a few details in that mouth, uh, just so that I could draw a few teeth, so that you can see at least some indication of the teeth inside the mouth. But I don't need to make it uh, too detailed. I don't need to draw every single tooth. Now moving on to the rest of the body. Uh, this uh, fin here is uh, fairly large but it's also going to be a bit darker because um, because most of it is kind of uh, its sides are facing away from the light source so the top part the the shark's back is facing upwards towards the light source so that's going to be a lot lighter than this fin. But we're also going to have some light effects, some reflections on, on that fin. Now I'm just going to draw the shape of the tail here and uh, do a tiny bit of shading but I'm going to get to that later. Right now I just want to put in a little bit more work with a charcoal pencil because once I start working on the background a lot of these lines that I initially created while I was doing a, uh, doing the sketch won't be uh, visible anymore so I want to avoid that problem and I want my sketch to remain in place so that I know what I'm doing so I put in some darker lines using a medium charcoal pencil and after that I shaded a bit more of the background Again, I'm doing the background using a combination of uh, willow charcoal and charcoal powder. Kind of trying to control the amount of value and not to make it too dark and not to, not to have too much texture in there. Another thing that I'll have to do is I'll have to create some uh, sun ray effects, like uh, rays of light going through the water. Um, once I shade all of this. Obviously I do a lot of blending with brushes of various sizes. Now to create those lighter uh, lighter areas, to create those rays of light, I can just use a paper towel 
or a tissue and dab on these areas covered with charcoal. Dab a little bit to lift up a bit of charcoal gently and that way you create areas of lighter value without using an eraser uh, where you have smoother, softer transitions because I wouldn't quite be able to achieve a similar effect if I try to do that with erasers. I would, I would get much cleaner edges and a lot more contrast. I don't want that much contrast but here at the top I'm actually going to have to use the kneaded eraser just a little bit so I dabbed a little bit with a kneaded eraser just to make some some of the top parts of those rays a bit lighter so I wanted to make it look like uh, sun is uh, ca uh, casting those uh, uh, those rays of light uh, through the water and obviously the shark is going to be catching some of that light and the top part of it, the, the top part is going to be lighter and we're going to have some uh, rippling irregular reflections uh, on its body but I'll get to that once I start shading the rest of the body I just went over some of these rays here at the top just to make them stand out a bit more now here on this uh, vertical fin here on the back I'm just adding some of those light effects adding some of those light effects using a pencil eraser and you can see I'm getting a substantial amount of contrast here so you want to make these uh, you want to make these marks so that they kind of imitate the the movement, the movement of the water because the water will be creating some irregular looking reflections on the shark and now I'm going to shade the larger part of the shark's body first I'm going to use a bit of willow charcoal because I can easily move that around and decide if I want to make it lighter or darker and once I do that I'm going to be adding some compressed charcoal from my charcoal pencils now the good thing about this scene is that uh, you can create a fairly realistic a fairly realistic interesting looking scene uh, while at the same time drawing a subject that isn't too complex because a shark is not horribly complex neither in terms of its overall shape nor in terms of its texture it's not like a furry animal or anything like that I'm just using a kneaded eraser again to drag uh, over some of these sunray areas a little bit because I felt like uh, some of them needed to be a bit lighter or maybe I covered some of them a bit too much uh, with uh, with charcoal during the blending process but I just wanna I just wanna create a little bit more contrast and take away a bit more uh, value using that kneaded eraser so I just pulled the kneaded eraser gently I didn't want to make a clean mark now as I already explained the top part of the shark's body is darker than the bottom part of the belly part which is lighter which is almost white but the thing is that because because of the light source the belly itself needs to be dark and it also need, needs to be darker than the background so th this is the tricky bit here actually that this is one of the most challenging things about this drawing that when you have these lighter areas that you know are uh, white in real life but uh, because of the light source they appear much much darker in your scene in your drawing so you always need to try to decide how much value you want to put in, in into those lighter areas and how you can establish the contrast with the background and that can be that can be a bit of a challenge and I'm just uh, I added a bit of a bit more value here at the bottom and I tried to define that 
uh, irregular line where where there is where we have that transition between the darker part of the body and the lighter part of the body. And I, I just uh, shaded a bit. I just blended a bit with a brush, and I felt that it wasn't dark enough. So I just I'm I'm adding a bit more value, and just working on some more details. Adding some details around the nose, around the around the uh, around the eye. And now I'm shading the belly. Again, I'm starting with a bit of willow charcoal just to establish some base tone and just to test how much value I'm going to need. I'm adding some smaller details, some smaller darker details here just to refine the appearance of the top part of the body and also because I, st I still wasn't happy with the amount of value here And I decided to push that in with my finger actually. I didn't really care too much about the, uh, that edge that I created because I was going to refine it using a pencil eraser. And if I create some lighter marks, I just uh, soften them a bit with a brush. So now I, I think that the top part of the body is starting to look a little bit better because I shaded it properly and I created some nice contrast and now we're starting to feel that volume of the shark's body. Now it's actually starting to look more cylindrical in shape and uh, uh, a little bit thicker as well. So I'm just pulling some highlights uh, in this uh, nose area and around the eye to make some, some of those parts of the body stand out a little bit more and look a bit more three-dimensional. And after that, I'm going to get to this tricky bit where I have to draw these light reflections on the shark, on the shark's body. And like I said, these are coming, these are coming from the light source above. But there's a lot of refraction because of the because of the water and because of the movement of the water so they're going to be changing their shape and direction a little bit and uh, I can't really make it exactly as it is in my reference but I'm hoping that with a few suggestions I'm going to be able to convey the general idea to the viewer because it doesn't have to look exactly the same what it what I want it to look like is like the light is coming from above and it's creating it's creating those interesting reflection reflections on the top part of the of the shark's body and you don't want to have a, a clean edge around them as well because I tried pulling some thinner, cleaner lines and it didn't really look that good. So once I started dragging my pencil eraser and creating some slightly less defined edges, I found that it started to look a bit better. Or at least I feel like it looks a bit better or, or a bit more realistic. I'm not really sure. Uh, this animal looks really menacing. But I, I still have a little bit more work to do on its... Uh, on, on its head and the mouth area and uh, the belly area now is going to be the challenge because I'm going to shade the I'm going to shade the this lower part of the background and now you can see that the contrast between the belly and the uh, and the background is kind of disappearing which I don't like I want the shark's body to really stand out against the background so I need a certain sufficient amount of contrast there and I'm blending everything with a brush trying to make it look smooth but here I'm 
kind of beginning to realize that I'm going to have to make the belly much, much darker than this so that it would stand out against the background. So this is the tricky bit that I was talking about. We know that this belly area is a very light value, very light color, but because it's in the shadow, it needs to be very dark so that it would, it would stand out against the background. So I kept adding a bit more value, mostly using that medium charcoal pencil until I made it dark enough so that it would stand out against the background. So here I'm adding some more uh, details on the side around the gill area. This is where the gills will be. And just cleaning up this, uh, the, the edge between this part of the body and the background and doing a bit more shading on the side of the body. This is getting a little bit too dark. I may need to take away a bit of value, but I don't necessarily have to use erasers for that always. I can just uh, play around with a brush a little bit and see if that will soften some of these darker areas a little bit. Uh, now another effect that I'm trying to create is I want to make it look like this tail area of the body is a little bit less defined because it's uh, further away from our point of view. So I want to make it look like the nose area and the head area, which is closer to us, is a lot more defined with a lot more contrast. And I want to make it look like um, the, the part of the body which is further away is uh, less defined and there is less contrast because of the because we're looking through the water if that makes sense so I really uh, wanna make it look like it's an underwater scene um, now I cleaned up the edge around this fin and the rest of the shark's body and uh, now I'm just gonna do a bit more a bit more shading on the background just to make it dark enough where it needs to be and where it needs to be darker and just so that I have uh, a sufficient amount of contrast between uh, the shark's body and the background creating some more of these light effects using a pencil eraser you can see uh, I'm creating a, a very light marks getting a nice uh, amount of contrast there and now I'm drawing these gills on the side I don't need to make them too defined just a few suggestions here and there I don't need to be perfect with my anatomy um, I just want to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already if you like my content don't forget, don't forget to give me a like and comment on my videos and also if you want to see longer videos and much more additional content, if you want to see real-time footage and longer narration, you should check out my Patreon. So I'm putting down some finishing touches using a pencil eraser and doing a bit more blending uh, with a brush, trying to make that uh, tail area, like I said, a bit less defined and trying to make the background look a bit smoother. I'm just uh, refining some of these reflections a bit, dabbing here and there with a kneaded eraser, just trying to come up with some shapes that I like. Maybe I'm overdoing it a little bit at this point, but um, I guess I just wasn't really, ha uh, wasn't really ready to put the pencil down just yet. And uh, just uh, working a little bit more on some of these edges. Because clean edges to value are very important uh, if you're talking about an edge between your main subject and the background. That's, that's what really makes it pop out of the background. And of course, the range of value is also important because it will make it additionally look more three-dimensional and give it more depth. Here in the background, I decided to draw a few fish just uh, just a few silhouettes of some fish swimming around but I'm going to try to make their bodies look a bit more three-dimensional by 
not just uh, by working in charcoal but also uh, adding a few touches of lighter value using an eraser I'm just going to make the top part of the body a bit uh, a bit lighter to stay consistent with the light source I just added a few of these so that I would make the scene look a bit more interesting uh, a bit more interesting like I said I want to make this look like it's uh, like it's underwater and uh, now my drawing is almost done I'm going to put my signature in the lower left corner and now I need to remove that tape so this is what the finished drawing looks like um, I hope you like it, I hope you enjoyed this drawing process, don't forget to check out my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.